This is part two of the JNI interface C code implementation. Here we're going to take the auto generated header file from part one and combine it with the C functions written here to build a .so file or a shared file to be used with the final GUI application in part three. I already have a project set up but I will go through the steps, show you how to set that up. I'm going to File, New, and over to C Project. And project name, we'll just type in J Parallel Port 1. After that, go down to Shared Library, right click on it, and click on Empty Project. And since I'm on a Linux architecture, I'm going to choose Linux GCC. GCC. All right, and since it's, I'm gonna to have to make a little change here so I can get to the next screen, you'll see debug and release folders there. You would um, check those and you would click finish. Since I already have them, I'm gonna cancel out of it. Get back to my project. All right, and once you're in the project, click on the project name, go to new and then source file. This will be our C source file and uh, I'll just put in G J parallel port one dot C finish. Now we're just going to uh, put in some includes the JNI dot H header, of course. And you also want to include the uh, auto generated header from part one, uh, J parallel port header. Okay, we have several more headers that I'm going to include. And I'll have a few defines here on forward input and one for base output all right since we're doing a jni interface these macros jni export and jni call the easiest way to handle this is just to know that when you're doing a jni interface these are included and they should be in this format And if you're interested in what it is that these macros do, you can Google it and it will give you um, more than enough information on these macros. Uh, the next part, the Java underscore Java parallel port underscore P access, those are the function declarations that were auto generated for us earlier in the header file I'll show you that I'll show you that in a minute um, the parameters are also default parameters we won't be using them and this first function it's all I'm doing is uh, asking for permission to use the parallel port on my system And the same thing for the second function. Uh, write out the macros in this format. Uh, it's an int, so I'm going to be returning an integer. And uh, the function name, again, you'll find that in the header file for uh, P, or Java J parallel port P read. Uh, same parameters will not be used and this is just so we can uh, get input from uh, our parallel
and our last function is going to be void won't return anything and this is just the function to output output uh, bits to our to our parallel port and these parameters we will add uh, a couple new ones is a couple integers it will be j int value and j int value one these are uh, the parameters we'll be inputting to uh, 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 output something from the out the parallel port All right, everything looks good. So we will go ahead and save. But there, all right, you want to uh, right click on your project name, go down to properties. There's some settings here we want to set up first, like in the C build settings, you want to under GCC C compiler miscellaneous you want to check the position independent code and then under GCC C linker you want to share library center settings and check shared let them know that this is a shared library uh, build steps the next tab this is just the commands all it's doing is copying the SO file that will be created and placing it into my libs folder in my uh, current or my uh, my final uh, Java GUI program, but we'll get that later. We have that's part three. Okay, apply it and okay. All right, next go to uh, C C plus plus general. And we go to paths and symbols. And for my system it was GNU C, and I added the paths to uh, my include directories. And you would do the same for your system, whether Windows or or whatever. All right, so apply. Okay. And see. All right, here's the the header, the auto generator header, header file I mentioned earlier, and these are the declared uh, function names and their parameters. And you go back here to our C program. This is where we use them. You know, if that's why we placed, that's why we use those names. They're from the auto generated file. To be used with when we write up our functions. All right, we're going to refresh our GUI real quick just to see if we got anything in library folder. There shouldn't be anything. No, there's nothing there. All right, go back to our JParallel port one project and go ahead and build our build it all right that was fast and we haven't oh, we have an error what do we got we have we have we have a or extra curly brace somewhere hmm All right, where there it is. Get rid of that. And I'll save it and build. Well, not yet. I want to clear all this stuff out of here. Now we'll build it again. All right, now check it and see if there we do. See the final uh, command is copying the SO file to 
my libs folder and we'll double check here well we got to refresh and check down there in the libs folder and the shared library is there so we successfully created the shared folder or shared library and placed it in the libs folder well that's it for part two um, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time